Mega Man is known for being a very frustrating franchise as well as being featured on this channel very frequently. Another thing is coincidentally known for are its difficult disappearing block puzzles. So, in today's video, we're going to be going over the hardest disappearing block puzzle from every Mega Man game 1 through 11, and I'm going to show you how to beat them if you need help for whatever reason because I'm a Mega Man Pro. Starting with Mega Man 1, this game is known to be one of, if not the hardest game in the entire series, which I think is completely whack, but I've already made a video discussing this, so, uh, yeah. Of course, any Mega Man game can legitimately be considered difficult, and I would be lying if I claimed Mega Man 1 hasn't tilted me at least one or two times. In terms of disappearing block puzzles, though, Mega Man has a tool that the other Mega Man games do not, being the Magnet Beam. I'm obviously going to be judging these block puzzles as if you were going to do them normally, but if I didn't at least bring up the Magna Beam as an option, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. Of course, the other Mega Man games do have various iterations of Rush, but it's just not the same. The only block puzzles in this game are from Elect Man Stage and Ice Man Stage. The one in Elect Man Stage certainly aren't easy, but they're nothing compared to the ones from Ice Man Stage. Not only is there one of those stupid little things on the ground that damages you every time you miss a block, but there's also a part two as soon as you finish the first block puzzle, which is then followed by one of the hardest areas in the entire game, and guess where the checkpoint is if you die? Right at the beginning of the block puzzle. Mega Man 2 only has one real block puzzle in the entire game, but is probably the most infamous block puzzle in the entire series. That's right, the super long Heat Man block puzzle. For the one person who's wondering, by the way, what the only other block puzzle in Mega Man 2 is, well, it's a baby puzzle right before this long one, which is why I didn't bring it up. But now I have brought it up and wasted everyone's time, and it's all your fault. The funny thing is, though, this super long notorious block puzzle is actually incredibly easy. Not only can you use item number two, as the famous song has said, but even if you were going to Heat Man stage first, this block puzzle isn't actually very hard. Like, it's literally just a straight line of blocks that all show up one by one. Basically, the only challenge here is not panicking about the fact that you're over a giant river of molten hot magma. Mega Man 3 takes everything we know and love about block puzzles, well, everything we know about block puzzles, as well as every frustrating feature a platforming video game can possess, and combines them in the form of Magnet Man stage. There are several block puzzles all in a row in this stage that I'm going to consider as one block puzzle that is by far the hardest in the entire game. The only other block puzzle is in Wily Stage 1, but you could beat that one blindfolded. Or at least I can. Magnet Man's block puzzle has a bunch of holes you could fall in, as well as literal magnets which drag Mega Man's metal robot body over the previously mentioned holes which, believe it or not, frequently kills Mega Man. As a kid, I considered this to be the hardest block puzzle in the entire franchise, and as an adult, I honestly still might agree. Thank God Mega Man 3's Rush Jet is the most overpowered in the entire franchise, because uh, otherwise this game would suck. <laughs> Mega Man 4 only has one singular block puzzle in the entire game, and it's in Wily 1. Not to be confused with Dr. Balsack Stage 1. Honestly, it's not too hard, and I can usually complete it on my first try, but even if I somehow was unable to complete this block puzzle, Mega Man 4 actually has the balloon power-up, as well as the grappling hook power-up, which I've personally used on multiple occasions to literally carry Mega Man through the block puzzle. Also, I'm pretty sure the only reason these were designed at all was to skip block puzzles, but I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know where else you'd use them, though. Mega Man 5 is not only one of my favorite Mega Man games, but also one of the easier ones if you're asking me. Which you are, since you clicked on my video. And it's also the only Mega Man game to have an anime based off of it. Unless you consider the cutscenes in Mega Man 8 to be anime episodes which you shouldn't. The hardest block puzzle in the game is inside Proto Man's castle, which was fittingly designed and built around the look of his helmet, and ironically is never used by Proto Man. This block puzzle is what I would consider to be the perfect Mega Man block puzzle in the sense that it's not too difficult, but it's also not easy by any means. You can also use Wave Man's giant Q-tips to skip over a lot of the block puzzle, as well as Rush Jet, of course, but we're above that kind of behavior here on the Tutor P YouTube channel. <laughs> Mega Man 6 was the final Mega Man game released for the NES, and it's a good example to see how Capcom learned how to use the NES more efficiently over the years. I mean, look at Mega Man 1 and then Mega Man 6. You got Mega Man 1, and you got Mega Man 6. Anyway, the hardest block puzzle in the game is from Wily 2, which is a decently difficult block puzzle, but nothing stands out from the pack if I'm being honest, which unfortunately sums up Mega Man 6 pretty well. Mega Man 6 also features Rush transforming into a jetpack power-up for Mega Man, which as you could imagine makes platforming, including going through block puzzles, much easier. So we've taken a look at the hardest block puzzle from every single Mega Man game on the NES, so it must be time to look at the hardest block puzzle from every other Mega Man game. 
right? I don't have a joke here, we're just talking about blocks. Mega Man 7 is a game that I honestly need to play more often because I've probably played this the least out of all the classic Mega Man games. Every time I play it, I'm surprised at how good the level design and soundtrack is, though I guess I shouldn't be considering that it's not only a Mega Man game, but also a Super Nintendo platforming game. The first block puzzle I noticed was the baby one on Burst Man stage that I assume maybe a Yoshi main from Smash Ultimate might have some problems with, but the disappearing blocks from Wily Stage 3 are fittingly much harder. Not like I had trouble with it or anything though. You know, since I'm a Mega Man pro player and everything. <laughs> Mega Man 8 is my least played Mega Man game in the entire series, and I was lying earlier when I said it was Mega Man 7. You fool, did you actually believe me? Are you serious? As I was going through and playing this game again for the video, I realized something horrifyingly redeeming about Mega Man 8. There is not a single disappearing block puzzle in the entire game. This is the only Mega Man game in the entire classic series where this is the case, and despite Mega Man 8's many flaws, it managed to achieve something that even the greatest Mega Man games have failed to accomplish. Not having block puzzles. So instead of just having a blank spot here, let's talk about Rockman and Forte. Which isn't the same as Mega Man in base because Rockman and Forte is actually good. If you're unaware of the differences by the way, Rockman and Forte is for the Super Famicom while Mega Man in base is a pretty lackluster port to the Game Boy Advance where the screen is zoomed in and cropped and it makes the game a horrible mess. It's just not even fun. If you're gonna play this game, please play the Super Nintendo one whether it's a ROM hack that translates it into English or just the Japanese version. Like, you don't really need to read anything. It doesn't, it's Mega Man, you know. It's, I hope you're not here for the story. But don't let Americanization ruin your day though because using the Super Famicom ROM of Rockman and Forte, you can enjoy the game in its full glory. Or you can waste money on a fake version to play on your real Super Nintendo, but I don't know why you would do something like that. This is actually, in my opinion, the most underrated classic Mega Man game of all time, but we'll talk more about that another day. There is an extremely difficult block puzzle at the very final stage of the game that is probably the hardest one in the entire game, but as a kid when I played this, the disappearing blocks from Astro Man stage traumatized me, so I think I gotta hand it over to your boy Astro Man, who is from Mega Man 8 by the way, so this is consistent to the countdown. <laughs> Mega Man 9 actually only has an easy block puzzle being the one from Plug Man stage. Ignoring how ridiculous a robot master named Plug Man is, the block puzzle is a different breed than other Mega Man games' block puzzles just because of how easy it is. But in one of the bonus modes of Mega Man 9, Endless Attack, there are actually several block puzzles that are all significantly harder than Plug Man stage and show that the developers do indeed remember how to make them like the original games. <laughs> Mega Man 10, otherwise known as Mega Man 9 2, also has a severe lack of difficult block puzzles in the base game, with the only representative being Sheep Man's pathetic block puzzle. But Mega Man 10, much like Mega Man 9, has a lot of bonus modes to accompany the main game, one of them being Inker Stage from one of the original Mega Man Game Boy games. This stage does have very difficult block puzzles, but I hesitate to bring this up just because of how scary some of the YouTube comments can be at times. But now that I think about it, I don't care. So Inker Stage has the hardest block puzzle for Mega Man 10. Case closed. <laughs> Mega Man 11, along with being an amazing entry to the series, possesses an amazing entry to the block puzzle series as well. The only block puzzle in the entire game is from Wily Stage 1, and it's the pinnacle of what a block puzzle should be, much like the one from Mega Man 5. It certainly isn't easy, but unlike some of the block puzzles from the NES games, you don't have to sit there and memorize or write down every little intricacy in the block puzzle pattern just to get past it. But of course, like with other block puzzles, if you end up having trouble with it, you can always whip out the homie rush. Well, those are the hardest block puzzles from every single Mega Man game 1 through 11, and if you enjoyed, please comment down below what other videos you want me to make. What am I supposed to touch this? <laughs>